Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of December 18th, 2017. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're seeking a psychic reading, you'll find a link to that below this video, as well as a few, uh, new tech service that is free to you on specials on readings. And if you visit my website, you will notice that I have a couple openings for the weekly forecast. Capricorn, you guys are really under retro this week. You're really going to start to feel the effects of that. Uh, emotions, emotions, emotions are everywhere for you guys this week. So know that as you approach the week. Um, there is new money standing for standing there waiting for you. It is a time of counting your spiritual blessings. But at the same time, you're going to need to find a balance between think before you speak and voice in your opinion. So let's take a look. This is for Capricorn for the week of December 18, 2017. Capricorn, we start with the Six of Swords, followed by the Major Arcana of the Sun, followed by the Magician, the Emperor, Strength, and the Eight of Swords. I'm going to break this down for you guys, and I'm going to pull you three more. Like I said, just know this is a very emotional cycle for you guys this week. Starting with the Six of Swords, you are leaving the troubled waters. You are moving into the calm waters. <clears throat> Most of your obstacles are over right now. You're actually in a good spot. We see that with the sun. The sun shining brightly on everything that you do, followed by the Magician. Now, for those of you not familiar with the tarot, the Magician is the number one card in the deck. This is you getting what you want. This is everything being presented on the table before you. Now, moving forward, we have the Emperor. Now, with this being a general reading, I cannot tell you if this is a male or a female. Uh, but this is someone very dominant, very controlling, very much in your thoughts, very much in your life. Mentor someone coming in for assistance with you. But at the same time, you have strength with that person as well. Um, I don't really see a confrontation with this person. Just something that just shows that you've got the strength to get through with this particular person. Beside that, we have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords is what I call the card of self-imposed restrictions, and I say that because no one is holding you back at this time but you. Moving forward, we have the Six of Cups, we have the Major Arcana of the Devil, we have the Major Arcana of Death, we have the Major Arcana of the Hangman, and we have the King of Pentacles. Looks like you've got someone from the past coming in. And under retro, that's not surprising in Capricorn. But beside that, what we have is cutting your ties, cutting your bonds, cutting loose of this particular person. This is someone that re-enters re from the past. Beside that, you have death. That is closure, uh, end of a negative cycle, going back to cutting your ties with this person. But it's also a rebirth and a new beginning. Beside that, we have the hangman, giving you the feeling that you may feel a little stuck after you do so, okay? Actually, you're not stuck, but that's the way you may feel. And then we have the king of pentacles, where I go back to good business deals, everything well, and the financial front of things. So a lot going on for Capricorn. First of all, the sun shines brightly, the magician showing you get what you want. Then we had this particular person with strength to go with it. This is probably the person from the past that you're going to cut your ties with, creating a new beginning, and you may be feeling a little bit stuck. I mean, you've got a lot going on here. But overall, the magician overrides your entire rating, showing you do get what you want. So thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.